In this video, we're going to look at our Troopmaster desktop program for Windows and see how to sync with Troopmaster Web 2.0. When you start your program after you first installed it, it's going to come up with a screen like this. If you're using Troopmaster Web, you don't need a license. You can just simply connect and download from Troopmaster Web 2.0. If you're using a desktop program all by itself without our web product, then you'll need a license key. You can also start a 30-day free trial if you like. Uh, since we're using web and this video is about syncing with Troopmaster Web 2.0, we're going to click connect and download from Web 2.0. So from here, we're going to select our state and our troop number. And then type in our administrator, user ID, and password. And then we're going to click delete desktop database and download from and download web data. Now since we don't have any data in our desktop program, it's not going to delete anything and it's just going to download the database from our Troopmaster Web Okay, it's letting me know there's an update available. Um, we can download this if we want, but for now I'm, I'm not going to. Um, and we didn't have any data when we first started out. And you can go to Scout Management. And you can see these are our scouts here. get to their advancement now the desktop program only requires an internet connection when you're actually syncing with Troopmaster Web 2.0. Um, you can put this on a laptop, take it to somewhere where you don't have internet connectivity, and access your full database and have all of the options that you need to um, manage your unit while you don't have internet um, access. And let's just see how the syncing works. So let's come in here and just um, let's give Jimmy here, let's give him a merit badge. Let's just give him art. He doesn't have that one on today. And click OK. OK, so we just gave this to him. And let's also go and change something, um, some of his contact information. Let's see, he doesn't, um, he doesn't have a BAC ID, so let's just put something in here so we can see that it does indeed uh, transfer this data to the web. Okay, so we've made those two changes. We can come out here, take a look at him, verify he does not have an ID entered. And he does not have the art merit badge. And come back to our desktop program. 
click sync and then sync database. And if we come back to Jimmy on the website, we see that he now has the BSA ID entered. And he also has the art merit badge. So syncing with the website is really that simple. You can enter data out here, click sync, and then it's gonna push it out to the website and then bring your changes back down to the desktop application. Also on the desktop application, if for some reason um, you wanted to delete the data out on the website and upload everything from the desktop database, you can do that. Um, you shouldn't have to do this or you shouldn't do it unless something um, has really went wrong out on the website and someone's changed a whole lot of data that um, wasn't supposed to get changed, then you always have this desktop backup of your database that you could then reset your data out on the website. But most of the time, you're just gonna come in, make your changes and click sync, and that's all you have to do. Okay, well that's all for this video. Uh, if you have any questions, please let us know. If there's any additional videos you'd like to see, let us know that as well. And thanks for watching.